Blessings Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Saturday, June 13th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. My scripture today is from the sixth chapter of Paul's letter to the Galatians, verse 2. Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Well, quite a few years ago, Susie, Chris, and I were in Brazil. I had taken a pulpit exchange for a month, and we were traveling back from San Lorenzo to Sao Paulo. And we went around a turn on the highway, and we hit a massive chuck hole. Well, it blew our back tire and bent the rim, and we noticed immediately that there were many other people sitting by the side of the road, too, and their cars were a little farther up the road. They had had the same situation occur in their trip by car. Well, there was one individual that came up to us, and he didn't have a blown tire. No, he lived nearby. This same situation had happened to him, and the government wasn't doing anything about it. So he came every afternoon with tools and a pump and patches and so forth. Now, he was able to fix our rim, but we had to wait for someone <clears throat> to bring a tire since it had been split open and could not be patched. But I always thought, you know, here is someone who had a very great difficulty and challenge, and instead of just being angry and upset, he set about to do something about it. You know, one of the biggest blessings we can be in our lives is helping someone else through a storm when we ourselves are walking through the storms of our lives. And I've noticed that some of the most blessed people during this pandemic are those whose lives are very similar to ours. They face the same challenges, the same fears, and the same limitations. <clears throat> but instead of turning in anger and frustration, they have devoted themselves to helping others walk through the storm. May it be so in your Christian walk. Remember, there are many frustrations, fears. There are many barriers, hurdles, and obstacles. There are many opportunities to grieve or to be angry. But we can help others through the storm, even when we ourselves are facing life's storms. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this word and for your children who are determined to make every situation a new opportunity to love, to give, and to serve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.